Is your 3070 too hot? You know what you need to do? Place those thermal pads. Get you some of these. So, today, we're gonna replace the thermal pads in a 3070. This one. Tools list, tweezers, maybe. Screwdriver with the Torx and a Phillips head. If you get you one of these, you ain't gotta worry about getting anything else. You will need thermal paste, most likely. You will need thermal pads. You will need a knife. Switch blades are great. You will need a small marker. You'll need one of these pry things. And you'll need a piece of cardboard to cut your thermal pads on. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Step number one. We're gonna take these six screws off. So get you a Torx, probably a number nine. Cause that's what the 3090 used. Oh, look at that, good guess. Lift this faceplate off. It, it has little teeth over here. So it's gonna slide in like this and then set down. You see? See how it slides? Slide it out, lift it up, take it off, set it. We only have one thermal pad right here. So, what we'll do is go ahead and cut a piece for that. If you take this side off first, this side sticks a lot, like this plastic sticks more to the pad. So if you take this side off, it'll be easier to remove the side with the logos on them. So what we do is we take this pad off very carefully. Set it aside, then replace it with a new pad. Next, we are going to remove this screw right here. Make sure to put it on your paper where you know it is. And then we are going to need to stand the card up and remove these four screws. All this with the Torx T9. Once you remove those four side screws and the one that screws in the motherboard, move the IO shield, place that aside, and then flip your graphics card back over. Once your card is back over, we're gonna take our tweezers, we're gonna flip this little lock up, remove this wire, just gonna wiggle it out of there, don't force it out of there. Once that is out of here, we're gonna do the same to this one, flip up that little black door. Then, get your tweezers under their wire, and wiggle it out of there. Be very gentle with those. Um, I was very gentle with those because I don't want them to break. Then we're going to need to take these screws out. We're going to have to change torque, screw, torque sizes. I think it's a T5, T6 maybe. T6. Go ahead and set this piece aside so you don't damage it. We're going to undo it. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You want to go little by little and diagonal because that's just how you want to do it and that's the right way to do it. So you don't, you don't tighten the little bracket or untighten the bracket too much in one spot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, girl? Set, set this little shield aside. I usually put it with these screws in the middle, just so I don't get the screws lost or confused. All right, once you get to this point and you got that little shield off, go ahead and remove this. Bam. It's very sticky because the paste and the pads. 
Um, just pull it off. Don't be scared, but don't pull it off too hard. Um, we're going to set this aside, um, not on any metal. We'll just set it right here. Be very careful. Now, we are going to remove these thermal pads, but we're gonna cut some first. Huh? Once we have our thermal pads on there, we're gonna get our paper towel with our alcohol. You can remove some of this bulk thermal paste off first. Make sure it doesn't get back under your thermal pad. Just gonna pick it off with your fingernail very lightly. Place it in the recycle bin. Uh, actually, go ahead and put it in your pot so we can heat it up and use it in just a minute. Yeah, yeah. It's like solder. It's the same thing. Go ahead and just solder your GPU. Oh, yeah. See what Lightly clean it off. Once you got that piece cleaned off, you were going to clean off this piece. This one you need to be a little, a lot more gentler. Not a lot more gentler. You should have already been gentle in the beginning. But just make sure you give extra care. Once you got that cleaned up, we'll put a little bit of thermal paste on here. About that much. Then we will put, well, we'll leave it right here in just in case we need a little more. Get you a little scraper, scrape, scrape. Can pull it. This isn't super necessary, but a lot of people with GPU do this just to get full coverage. So we recommend it. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to scrape it if you don't want to, but then again, you don't have to replace the thermal pads on your 3070 if you don't want to. Amen, brother. Place this right back on there. Make sure you're wires like that one right there and then this one over here a line or, or above the board at least so what we'll do is hold them back and we place it if you don't get it you can always reach around and grab them make sure that sets down in the correct space then we put our little bracket right back on here get our little screwdriver with our Torx head 6 I believe yep just get it started and we'll get this one started She's popping a willy. You can hold this one down. Get it started. Oop. 
one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You go in a diagonal pattern until you tighten them all down. I'll go about four notches just so I don't tighten them too much. So I don't tighten one too much, you know. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you you can't over I mean you can over tighten them with your hand, but like you'll definitely know when they're tight enough. You'll go and then it, oh I can't go no more. See? I mean, I know you can like see me not rotate the screwdriver no more, but like, you just gotta do it to know. Once you got that, do not forget these little wires. Cause you have to plug these back in. Make sure that door's unlocked. Make sure you line your wire up correctly. You just push it in there. Make sure it goes in there straight. Lock that little lock. I need to clean these up. Keep your tools clean. Put this little wire back in here. That little white mark you can see lines up right there by the back of the door. Put that on there. And then we will put the IO shield back. Flip the card up. And we're gonna go ahead and put it on like so. Grab your little screwdriver. I think it's a, oh, it's a Torx 9. So we're gonna switch to a Torx 9. Get you one started. Make sure all the screws are tight. Put this back over. Put this one Torx 9 back right here into the board. Secure that IO shield. Oh. Right here. Make sure that goes back in. Then, close your knife so it doesn't get stabby. Stabby And we take our plastic shield or whatever this piece is called, plate. Take our plastic off of the thermal pad. Then we will set this bed. Make sure your wires are plugged in, bro. Make sure they're plugged in. You don't want to not plug them in, dummy. Oh, just remember, remember. Oh. We're gonna get there. Slide the little feet in. Then fold this down. You don't have to worry about it not lining up. Get your Torx. Nine T nine. Get it started. Don't tighten it all the way. I can start with the middle. I don't know why. Then voila, you have an RTX 3070 with new. Uh, what are they? Iceberg thermal pads. Um, this will help cooling for mining for gaming. Um, makes your card run a little bit better because it doesn't get as hot. So with that being said, this concludes our video.